Hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited about today's video and I'm gonna say you probably will not see what I'm about to show you anywhere else and it's my absolute privilege to be able to show it to you. What I've got for you today is the Money Goblet from Copeland Coins and Jeff McBride. This is the latest release from Copeland Coins and it is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous prop. Um, and th the most important point I wanna start out with is that it's my opinion that Jeff has, Jeff Copeland, <laughs> there's two Jeffs, Jeff McBride, Jeff Copeland. Jeff has brought what is normally a stage routine. And because of the, the size of this goblet, I believe it opens it up to so many more venues. Uh, so of course you can perform this on stage. It's large enough and it's bright and shiny, but I think this easily transfers to a parlor setting or even pushing the limits of close up performance. We'll say, imagine a dinner party where your guests are seated around the living room or, or at the table and there's some amount of distance between you and the audience. So I believe this opens up uh, the potential buyer to more than just the stage performers out there. And I think this will appeal to, to more of you than you think. So if you saw this come out and you kind of didn't give it a second thought, I'd recommend uh, taking another look. And now I, I wanna share with you all my little take on the miser's dream using the money goblet. So let's take a look at that. So that was my performance on, on the miser's dream with some added touches here and there. I'm no stage performer, but I do dabble in a lot of different things. And I've just had a blast practicing with this. If I've had this much fun, I, I know you will too. So I'm excited to, to share this with you and what I've learned while playing with it. So let me get into the box. What are you getting in the box? Now I've already removed the packaging material. When you open the box, you get this nice velvet bag. And this came wrapped in 
bubble wrap packaging tape and silica gel inside to absorb moisture. Uh, if you've bought from Copeland Coins before, you know Jeff uh, spares no expense even on packaging. So uh, the same goes with the money goblet here. So you have your nice velvet bag with the Copeland Coins logo stamped on there. And the goblet comes in this chromed brass or unchromed brass. Uh, it's just beautiful solid metal. Along with that, you get five palming coins. I'll get some close-ups on these in just a minute. You get a, a handkerchief that is 20 by 20. Uh, there's no options for colors on this, but it's a, it's a nice thick material, uh, polyester or nylon type of material. Uh, it's not this thin magician silk. And then the goblet itself, which uh, <laughs> the gimmick is so, so beautiful. Uh, I, I know Jeff has been working on this for four or five years, maybe longer but I personally saw his handmade prototype at his house years ago. So this has been a project full of heart and patience and it's cool to see it now uh, in its finished form. So again, uh, I've got the chromed brass here, but you can also order the regular brass goblet and I'll include a link directly to uh, that section on his website if you look down below. But let's get a close-up on the coins. So just like uh, Jeff's other coins, the Tiger Tan and the Kingdom coins, he has spared no detail in making these. So these are palming coins. They're super thin, so you can, you can have, this is five together, that's what comes with your package, five coins. So here's three piece dollars and it's the same, it's just under that height there. So five to three. And so along with uh, the thinness, uh, these coins aren't completely flat. At the rim, they taper down so that when they're stacked together, there's just enough space to stick a fingernail in between. So as you're palming these, you can get a thumbnail in there and break one loose and be able to produce these uh, with ease. Uh, along with that, on the rim, there's a, a sandblasted type of texture. So you can see the difference there the shiny part and the rim, it has a texture to it. So let's say you have a stack of these in, in Down's palm. You can easily pull one out and just one and just easily be able to produce multiple coins as they're stacked together. Now for the design, it's uh, that's Jeff McBride's face with the Kabuki mask. And I believe that's from an early set of lecture notes. And the coin is dated 1985 from, I think his first appearance on a talk show, a nighttime talk show. It escapes me at the moment. And then uh, just the amount of detail that Jeff Copeland put, puts into these coins is, is amazing. There's a little uh, Latin phrase up here, ex nihilo nihil fit, which is from nothing comes nothing. And then on the back, there's a bat instead of an eagle. And in the background is a, a disco ball. And I think he, these are called disco dollars because they, they're meant to shine really brightly. Uh, they're meant for stage production. So they're meant to be seen and catch light. 
and then Carpe Noctum on the very bottom sees the night. So just cool little details that mainly are for the magician to enjoy because again, people might be seeing this routine from a distance. They'll definitely catch the light off of these coins. And another little detail is the bat is doing a Sybil cut with cards uh, between, its, between its feet. So <laughs> just uh, beautiful coins, beautiful details. Uh, the whole thing is so well thought out. So in your package, you get the goblet, you get five palming coins, the handkerchief, the nice velvet bag, and there's a kicker ending. So this is a Schatz brand name, uh, shot glass uh, kicker ending. So you've just produced a number of coins and done the miser's dream routine. And then for a nice finale, boom, there's this, this liquid, you know, production. And it's kind of like a toast at the end of the routine. And it's a great applause cue. And it kind of puts the finishing touch on the routine. And so the only other thing I want to talk about is the tutorial. So just like all of Jeff Copeland's uh, products, this is a Dave tutorial. So that stands for Digital Annotated Video Experience. So as you're watching the video, you're gonna have still shots above the video. And these are freeze frame moments of a, a, a critical slight or a critical moment of that routine. Uh, so you can, it, it's as if you're pausing the video to study these moments, but you don't have to pause the video. These moments are pictured above the video. And then alongside is text. And this could be uh, tips, tricks, advice, or historical information about the prop. And he just includes so many useful things. And I love these videos because they go in so much depth. Uh, if you watch it a second time or third time, you're gonna see a new piece of information. And it, it's just, such a great learning tool and the cornerstone of Copeland Coins products. And so on the tutorial, it's about an hour long. And the first half is Jeff McBride uh, going through a, a routine he put together for the money goblet. He calls the toast. So you'll learn that routine, which includes the shot glass production at the end. Then the second half of the tutorial is Jeff Copeland and Jeff McBride sitting and, and discussing the miser's dream and different, different props throughout history. The inspiration for this prop, uh, uh, Jeff McBride has a few examples of older, similar working props than the money goblet, but they look totally different. Some are actually glass tumblers I found that to be extremely interesting. And so the, the tutorial all in all is, it's gonna get you all set up to be able to use this. And again, the reason I, I bring this to your attention is, I think this will appeal to more people than, than they may realize. Uh, I don't think this has to be on stage. Uh, this could be almost a close up piece. Uh, I'd put it in the same category as the cups and balls. It's one of those classic pieces of magic. And in particular, if you love coin magic and do coin magic, this is one of the classic pieces of coin magic. So it is well worth the price. The basic package here is 180, which it, it's an investment, but the props you're getting are absolutely second to none. Uh, as far as Miser's Dream goes, this is the prop to get. There's nothing out there that is so well made as this. And the gimmick itself is so easy to use. And I won't say it's self-working. You're going to have to put work into your slights. But as far as keeping the routine going, it's almost self-working. It's fun to practice with. 
Um, so you could you could do this routine ad nauseum. I'll keep the Latin going <laughs> with the Latin on the coins. You could produce coins over and over and over, and it's the, the cyclical type of uh, just the way it works. Because if you're familiar with any of the bucket type of miser stream routines, uh, those work in a different way. So again, the size of this, uh, the ease of use, uh, this brings it from the stage down to, I think, uh, a lot of possibilities. So if you've overlooked this, if you saw it come out and you thought, oh, it's not for me, I would give it a second look. And it might be something you have to save up for, but like I said, this is like a nice cups and balls set. And it's one of those traditional classic pieces of magic that always looks beautiful. And with this prop, it's going to look even more beautiful. So my final recommendation is pick this up if you can. This is a, a limited release. Uh, I know he produced a couple hundred, maybe more than that, and there may not be another run. I don't want to brag, but I got uh, number eight on the, the goblets. So if you, if you can invest the money now, I couldn't recommend it more highly. If you don't have the money now, I think it's worth uh, saving, putting aside that money because this is a collector's item as well. I mean, who else is going to have this when they're gone? So just some things to keep in mind. Uh, that's it for today's video. I'm super excited to be able to share this with you guys and I hope I did the routine justice, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.